Agent Nine. I'm here for the advanced training. Dun 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 dun. So as we can see, this is Agent Nine secret headquarters. I'll get those files out of your way just as soon as I'm done with these okay. tests. Let's see if I can get that object. I believe this is another one of the Yep, fossil. Okay, this is another one of the scavenger items. So what are we gonna things. learn? Bending spoons? Burning stuff? Okay, just wanna quickly get yep. the card. We okay, so Sasha Nine. I've been hearing a lot about head explosion, and I was wondering Science Rasputin. That is what we practice down here. You are serious about exploring the possibilities of your mind. Step up to the brain tumbler and we'll begin. Brain tumbler? Ooh, I love tumbler. I feel like this is gonna be a horrifically bad idea. So, what's the- You're ready for the brain tumbler. With this device, we will send you deep into your own psyche. Where you should find unparalleled insight and power. Excellent! Tumble away. Now just relax. This will not hurt. Unless something really very bad happens. But what are the odds of that? Wow! Is this what the inside of my mind looks like? Not yet. You're still traveling to the astral plane. This is a tiny corner of what we call the Collective Unconscious, a place in which all of our unconscious minds are connected. Right now, the only unconscious world you can enter is that one. Your own. Step through it, and we'll can- So this is the- so basically this is the level select. As you can see in front of each, you can actually see the collectibles you've gotten, whether it's the tags, the vaults, the cobwebs, and I think that last one should be the figments. But anyways, like you said, the only one we can go through is the brain tumbler experiment. Whee! Now let's see what our brain looks like. Loading screens are longer than I remember. Rasputin, can you hear me? Sasha? Where am I? You are inside your own mind, but I'm not sure where. Tell me, what can you see? I see a rundown gypsy caravan. Do you recognize it? Yes. Gypsies. It's where I was born. I see. Compelling. Nope, oh, and a vault. Just gonna quickly get everything around here. Get back here. I say get back here. You too, vault. Spank that ass. Rasputin's getaway. Dun 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 while at the circus, Rasputin was handed the pamphlet, the one he quoted from earlier. The man in the center is his father. After studying the pamphlet, instead of focusing on his training, he began to get more engrossed with the idea of becoming a psychonaut and expanding his powers. Unfortunately, his father disagreed and tore up the pamphlet. And so Rasputin managed to escape on, I believe it was, yes, the world's smallest pony. How that makes sense, I'm not entirely certain. Then he found his way to Whispering Rock. And that's where we came in. Okay. Sasha, I'm going inside the caravan. What do you see inside? Man, this caravan gets terrible reception. I'm not sure. It's getting fuzzy. Um. Uh oh. We're trapped. What? No, I'll figure it out. Oh. Aha! Ha! 
You can just punch the walls. And that's how we were hatched. Rasputin, are you okay? What do you see now? A I see a small, bunny-like animal thing. Hmm. An unfamiliar animal entity in a dream often represents a primal fear or memory. Follow it, and it should lead you somewhere important. Check. Hmm. Okay, Mr. Bun. You yeah, and just I follow the white rabbit. Tight. Wherever you go, I go. Like two peas in a pod. Hey! Come back here! <sighs> just follow the white rabbit. What could possibly go wrong? And just a bunch of figments. Bubble up. Yeah. And the purse tag. Nice. Don't be too worried about getting everything on your first visit here. You will be able to revisit every single level, so... Yeah, and these things are enemies. The weird plant things. So yeah, for now, just follow the bunny. Then again, you don't have to get much other choice. And there's also giant stakes. Okay then. Oh, already almost close to another level up. Oh, figments aren't worth one? Well, that's gonna be confusing. Uh, Sasha? What is it? Another bunny? No, this is more of a super that's a bunny. Eye demon kind of deal. Oh. Hmm. What? Okay, I'm pulling you out of there. Just give me a second. Uh, Sasha? Hold on, I'm still getting some unusual interference. It's fascinating. As if someone else... Agent 9? Sorry, almost ready. Sasha! Well, that was a pretty mean bunny. Hmm. Yeah, really hoping you guys can't hear the chair I'm on. For some reason, there was a big chair where I usually record, so I decided to use it. That should not have happened. We need to try that again. Oh, I don't think I need to be in the tumbler with the glowy eye guys anymore. Suit yourself. You know, in many tribal societies, learning to defeat the monsters you see in your dreams is considered a rite of passage. I can train you to fight. Come see me when you're ready. Yeah, I'm gonna go in right now. Okay, I'm ready to learn how to really fight. Oh, really? Hmm. What? Um, nothing. It's just that I didn't think you'd really take me up on that offer. It usually scares the kids off. Well, not me. I'm ready to kill for my camp. Listen, I can't <laughs> bring you. Agent Vodell would kill me. What's the big deal? What she doesn't know will hurt her. You don't have a marksmanship limit's permit. Could lose my job. I'll get one. Even if you used that secret passage over there and snuck into his sanctuary, Agent Cruller would never give you a marksmanship learner's permit. Agent Cruller? Never in a million... I'm off. Be right back after I talk with Agent Cruller. <sighs> what are you talking about? We need to have a plan. We don't know anything to do. If only someone would point us in the right direction. Oh, this game is so confusing. Oh well. Let's go drown our sorrows in the tree stump. Let's go to Ford's. I mean, my sanctuary. Let's go to Ford's. Sanctuary, got it. I mean, my sanctuary. Yes, noble psycho master. So she knows me. Bwahahaha. Meanwhile, in space. No one can hear you scream. Honored to finally meet you in person, sir. I thought I recognized you in my dream, but I couldn't be sure. Now that I see you in your element, there's no doubt. You're Ford Cruller, the greatest leader the Psychonauts ever had. Well, you shouldn't believe everything you read in True Psychic Tales magazine. <laughs> Wait, I could have sworn on one of the screens it just showed Pong. What are you doing here at Whispering Rock? This training facility is built right smack on top of the largest titanium deposit known to man. It runs under this whole valley and makes this a very critical area for the Psychonauts. So I'm here to look after it. 
and to make sure you little spoon benders don't kill each other. What's titanium? Titanium is a very rare psychoreactive mineral that crashed here on a meteorite hundreds of years ago. It responds to psychic waves, focuses them, amplifies them. It can make psychics more psychic, but it can also make unstable people more unstable. Not everyone can handle that much activity in that part of their brain. It can drive their gorg. Just funny and interesting. Sasha said you need to learn how to fight better. You want to teach you advanced combat? On your first day? Yeah. I had a vision with a huge monster with yellow eyes and a big mouth full of gnash. Did it happen to spit at him? Yeah. I think it was like an old diving helmet or something. I see. Hmm. Well, we better get armed. Why? What's happening? Oh, nothing, nothing. P prepare your mind. That's the motto of the Psychonauts. <coughs> Here. This is a marksmanship learner's permit. It will only work when you're in Sash's mind. Once you complete his shooting range, you'll get the real merit badge and you can side blast anywhere you want. Thanks. Side blast? No, oh, you'll find out. Now get going. We can't have the camp overrun with big eyed garbage spitting monsters, can we? No, sir. This is the only instance where you actually need a learner's I saw permit. You making leaves. Was that a disguise? Uh, yes. Well, well, I have many disguises. It, it helps me keep an eye on you kids wherever you go. <laughs> now, <clears throat> when I'm in disguise, I may pretend not to recognize you. Don't blow my cover, okay? Say no more. Your secret identity is safe with me. Well, from here, I can monitor world events, look for signs of psychic terrorism, ripples in the astral plane. And then fly out and save the day, right? You've got a jet hidden here somewhere, I'll bet. Well, you know, these days I'm really just more of a, a dispatcher. I spot the trouble and send out a, a, a younger agent, like Mia or Sasha. Or maybe you someday. What does all this equipment do? Well, up here, it's all intel. Down that hallway is the observation room. No tests going on in there right now. Maybe later. And beneath us, I have special machines for rebuilding side challenge markers and detangling mental cobwebs. You should go familiarize yourself with those. They'll come in pretty handy for you. I'd better go. Good luck, Raspy. Okay. Thanks. So, yeah, that's... I'll need it. Don't that's worry. I'll be Crawler's right Lab. Head. My head? I want to keep my eyes on so I'm going to be a psychic story inside your noggin. If and this is probably one of the best appear, things in the game. You can do it with this special device. You can call help. Is that a piece of bacon? Oh, yeah. Bacon. I just love bacon. I smell that stuff and I can't help it. I drop everything and come running. Okay. Do you have like a little baggie or something I could put this in? You get a move on or I'll eat that right here. So literally you spawn your guide with bacon. Now remember, folks, this is before the internet was really Where that would you big. Like me to take you, Agent <laughs> and back to Sasha Lines Lab. With pleasure. <sighs> you can access the bacon through the select menu. Waiting for the loading screen. And without further ado, let's begin Sasha's marksmanship challenge. Okay, I got it. Check it out. Excellent. Well, my ass is covered. <laughs> are you sure you are ready to do this? It could be dangerous. Yes. Yes. Are you gonna pull me into your mind like the coach did? No offense, but it's time you saw what an organized mind looks like. <laughs> so yeah, the doors, you just attach them on anything, and you can go into their brain. That is awesome. 